the um landlord sending emails and all this other stuff and i want to come do an inspection good morning welcome in my thg family welcome to tommy's homestead garden i'm in south carolina garden zone 8a so today is a small garden tour because everything is compact so that's why i say small um as soon as i start recording here they come with playing basketball here are some bell peppers i have actually two in this container and i'm starting to get some blooms on here and also right here where i had a bloom I don't think that is going to make it. Over here, we have carrots. We have two of my corn stuck over here. Um, I didn't have, I don't know why I don't have them with the other corn. Um, we have okra growing in all of these white containers here. These back here are doing better than most. So I have three pots that are doing really well i thought i saw some okra starting to come on yeah right there and maybe in this one unless it died out yeah right there as well so then i have peach tree here and a peach tree right here I don't think I have any peaches left on here but maybe one and it's not gonna do anything so I'm gonna take it off you see how that looks disgusting just gonna take it off and drop it on down there in the bottom so over here these were my some of my backup tomatoes i have more backup tomatoes but they're doing well to be backup tomatoes i have two in here that one back there is not really getting a lot of sun so i'm probably gonna pull it out and just go with that one in the bucket um yeah it's just one in this one it's starting to get some flowers on it this one has two in there i don't know how well that one will do because this one's overshadowing it so I'll probably pull that one out. I already took off a lot of the stems around the bottom. And then we have this one right here is getting bigger. And I need to pull this off. I don't have my clippers on me. Golly. I don't feel like going to get them. I'll do that later. So this one has some flowers on it. This one does too. So these were all backups and they're starting to really do great. Like really big. Um, over here, I don't know how I got a corn in that grow bag. Well, no, that's not the grow bag. Hold on. These are stuck together. I'm trying not to have them touching too much because it'll get disease. Okay, so this bucket has uh, two things of corn in here, and y'all, it's growing, so I'm not messing with it. Then I have my lemon boys here. You saw me take one of the lemon boys off, and it had like, um, I think a lot of people were telling me uh, root rot on it, even though it wasn't touching the soil these seem to be doing great over here i think this is the cherokee purple and so far they look good i have only two on there and then over here i forget i think these are some kind of cherry tomatoes and i mean it's loaded with tomatoes and they're starting to turn then i have these right here um cherry tomatoes as well 
I believe. And it's also loaded. So I think next year I'm going to be doing a lot more cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes. I can just pop it off, eat it, be done. Um, that's the kale. More tomatoes here, cherry tomatoes. And when I tell you this one is really loaded, like I have a stick in here, bamboo stick, and it's still weighted over. Um, one of them's actually turning. So we have that. So y'all, I'm dropping this clip in here. It's actually Sunday, this clip. Um, the rest of the video was shot um, yesterday on the 29th so today is the 30th with this clip so this is my little quick little couple of beans that i pulled and i had one ripe tomato cherry tomato off of george my tomato plant um he was the first one to feed me y'all so i also decided to pull these onions up so that I can empty that container out because they've been in there since January. They should have done something by now. So this was all I was able to get. It's a little small onion here. Um, I was watching Homestead Heart and she was talking about the onion. So it was time for me to pull mine. Either they were gonna be right or not. And then this is all I got from that one. It's another little baby one. I'm gonna keep those two right there. Um, well, let's see, the two I'm gonna keep, I'll put right here. And then my red onions, and I, I use my red onions in like when I'm doing my pasta salads and stuff like that, or jambalaya. They didn't do anything, look at them. So those are gonna go over there. I'm gonna keep this one right here. It's not big, but it's big enough to eat along with this one. And that's tiny, I'm not messing with it. And that didn't really bulb out or anything. Um, they were limped over. This one's still not as limp as the other ones, but once they start doing like this right here, they are supposed to be done. But this is, I guess, all the production I was gonna get. And maybe it could have been the cement mixer. Maybe it wasn't uh, deep enough or I didn't keep, I didn't add a lot of soil to it continuously and that might've been a problem also. And I also didn't water them as much. And listening to Homestead Heart, she was saying that onions like a lot of water and I really was watering them sparingly, um, not like the other things. But I did get three onions, y'all, out of that cement mixer that I had. And I have two other small tomatoes that I'm going to take off of a different plant. And, yeah, that's my little harvest for the day. And I'll just let these sit out and dry out inside, of course. I'm tossing that out. This is my apple mint, and it's really growing well. I haven't taken anything off of them lately. I haven't made any teas or anything. This is my stevia. It's getting really big. I have more bell peppers here. It's two bell peppers. Yeah, two bell pepper plants in here. And you can see I have my first bell pepper starting to grow. So I just fertilized on the 20th, but I think I'm gonna fertilize again next week. And then we got a nice little butterfly action down there. Um, these right here are candy cane peppers, and I have blooms all over. I thought I only had this one, and I can see that it's a little. It smells so good, y'all. I got peppers all in this thing. Look at that. I googled it to see how big they would get. They're not going to get much bigger than that. So, but they're all in there and it smells so good. It smells so, so good. Look at the color on this bell pepper. Well, not bell pepper. It's candy cane pepper. And I guess that's why they call it that. Isn't that pretty? So 
So I have more bell peppers over here. I don't think, oh, I just knocked the flower off. I don't think I have, oh yeah, I do. There's a bell pepper up in there growing. It's hard to see in here. Is it a bell pepper or jalapeno? Because this one, y'all, is there no bell pepper? Unless I got two different plants in here. That is a straight up jalapeno. And here's another one. I don't think I have anything in this one. Not yet. So over here I have more backup tomatoes. I don't know if these will be going with me though. So we'll see. I may just take them out and put them in these raised beds right here. Um, just because I don't want to take I'm tired, y'all. I'm just be honest. I'm so tired. So here's the corn right here that I took out of the raised beds. This container's doing well. I don't know about these. So I'm only taking the ones that are gonna be doing well. Um, of course, the buckets I will be taking. And then over here, these are some lilies. I forgot I had over here. I probably haven't even watered them. I watered just now, but I think I missed them because the soil is dry. So this corn over here, it's been so hot lately, y'all, like almost 100 degrees. And it doesn't seem to be wanting to do great. It's the peaches and cream corn, all of them. That's the only kind of corn I planted. And I don't know. They were doing great. I think I, let's see. Soil's not super dry, but I think I will give them some more water. I think they need um, a feeding for one. And I'm out of uh, 511, so I gotta go to Home Depot and get it because I doubt if Lowe's have it. It's another bell pepper. I don't know why she's sitting over here. I need to move her because I don't think she's getting what she needs. So I'm just gonna sit her down here. I'm put her over here. Then, so this first raised bed right here, um, you know, I have my green beans up in here. These are so small. Might be a couple on there I can take off, but for the most part, they are small. I don't know if that's just the variety because I don't remember what kind it is, but I mean, they taste good just eating them not cooked. I ate the last batch, I didn't even give them to my husband. So I was like, it's gonna be a minute before he come home. I'm not leaving these up here. And I did leave a corn in here, and it's doing just fine, so. Second raised bed, I have sunflowers, cucumbers. I actually think, and this is really growing. Really, really growing. Nothing happening yet. I have my cucumbers that need, I don't know, I think I might need to put some Epsom salt in this bed. And, um, cut back some of my watering because I have a lot of yellowing too. But I am getting more female flowers on here, but not really seeing much action. Um, this cucumber right here, I don't think that's gonna make it. It looks weird. Anyway, I mean, it's just taking over the whole bed, y'all. Oh, I forgot to show you my sweet potatoes while I was over here. I did put grass seeds out where I took those other raised beds up, and it's coming along. I'll give y'all an update on that in a little bit. So this is my sweet potatoes. They're starting to really, really grow, so I took these Dollar Tree things and put them in here just now because this was hanging out over the back. And I mean, they weren't like this a few days ago, and we haven't had any rain. Now these right here are my 
white potatoes, russet potatoes. Um, they died back. It was plants everywhere. They died back, so I was pulling them off. But what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to dump this container because this, I did these January 26th. So, February, March, April, May. So, next week is June. That'll be five, no, six months, right? February, March, April, May, June. Five months. It'll be five months. It only takes um, around 180 days. So, if they're not doing anything, because I pulled a couple of them up and there was nothing on it. Um, I'm just going to dump it and I'm not going to replant anything in it because I'll just take the container with me and when I get where I'm going, I will put probably watermelon or something in it or maybe I'll do more potatoes in it. Who knows? I'll give you a snippet. I did put more grass seeds down and it is, as you can see, already starting to come up. So let's start over here. I still haven't taken this area out, even though I pulled up all the watermelon that I wanted to keep out of these bags. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of this stuff within another week or two. Um, I threw two of my squash plants away because I put them, I threw them over here. I gotta clean this whole area out. So I gotta get rid of all of this stuff. Um, the roots were not looking great at all. So all this will come up in about a week or two. So that's a whole nother project. Uh, these right here, these plants I will be keeping because they've been giving me squash. As a matter of fact, I just took a squash off of this one down here. So I had two on there, but one of them just didn't look right. So I got rid of it. Um, I'm gonna give these a feeding as well. Everything's gonna get a feeding again next week, even though I just gave them a feeding. And I don't know, there's another corn in here and it's not gonna make it because it is fighting for light. Um, I don't have any more fruit. Yeah, this coming on here. There it is, right there. I don't know how well it's gonna do. So I had the watermelon, I had some in here, took them out. And then I had the ones that were in the bags, I took them out and I placed them over here in containers. So here they are. And since I did that, they have been growing really well. Before that, they were no bigger than this right here. And now I have flowers on this one right here. Um, this is a crimson, that's a crimson, that's a dino melon. Then down here, I have my um, Lufa. Only one of them made it. So I just put this um, tomato cage in here yesterday. And since yesterday, this has grown some and it's already attached to the railing. And these are growing as well. Those are watermelon, uh, tender sweet watermelon. I think that's the yellow ones. I think these are watermelon. And then I've planted some more watermelon seeds on the 27th. My celery, I have four containers. Um, it's been so hot, like I had to move them over to this shaded area. And that's the same thing I did with the watermelon. I think they weren't doing well because although watermelon love heat, they don't love direct sun. And that's what I've been learning um, and researching. So what I did was, that's why I put those watermelon in the container and moved them over there. I have them sitting on one of the raised bed wooden slacks. Um, so that the drainage, the water's not sitting in the container and also they're not in direct sun, but they do get that heat that they love. So that's my tip 
what I'm doing for mine. Now the celery, the celery, I'm trying to see what that bug was. The celery over here, it's been so hot. Um, they just droop down to the ground and then they pop back up overnight. And I try to keep them watered twice a day since it's been like, I actually probably should do certain things three times a day, you know, if it likes a lot of water. And um, I didn't do that yesterday, I only did it once. And these were drooped down some, but because it's been so hot, these, these were the younger ones, like, and it just started seeding. So I clipped that part off, oh, I still got one on there. I clipped that part off because I'm not ready for it to seed out because it's not ready yet, y'all. It's not. And like this one is still laying down, hadn't come back up. Um, the rest of them came back up. My son was like, um, something wrong with your celery. I said, yeah, it's really hot out here. So I have them under this tree where they're shaded, but they still, it's just the heat of the day that's getting to them. And then my backup, I say back up my broccoli I have those back here I need to start spraying again y'all I actually stopped spraying I was just so tired and so worn out from um, trying to plan what we're gonna do how we're gonna do it you know in this move and then um, the um, landlord sending emails and all this other stuff and I want to come do an inspection I'm like, lady, we got stuff everywhere. That's not happening. And so I guess she got upset with that. And then she sent another email saying, well, I'll be there on such and such date at such and such time. Okay, that's fine. You can come. But if I don't feel like you coming in to this house while I still in it, you won't come in until I leave. And that's just me. That's just where I'm at with that. Um, I've been being nice. Y'all know I've been managing that as well as I can. Um, and being respectful but when I feel like you're stepping over because I'm being nice then you know I'm gonna draw the line so that's where we are with that um, and you already know if we don't find a place we'll just go we'll put our stuff in storage and go to my sister's the one I did the house tour with so she has enough space in her home and they offer so that's not what we want to do although I am appreciative of it that is really not what I want to do so I'm praying that we can get um, something before um, time for us to leave out of here so that's my update on that for y'all and I probably do like a garden update once a week because it's really not a lot happening unless it's something going on where I'm gonna harvest something then you know yeah I'll do one but I think every you know once a week is fine so my cabbage is starting to look like it wants to form a head so I'm gonna start back spraying I got off of doing that I found another formula that I think is gonna work better than what I've been doing. Um, so I'll be doing that. And here's another one. Yeah, it's starting to form ahead. And that's really exciting for me. But I need to protect my leaves as much as I can. And I think the spray that I'm about to make for them will do that. This might be a little too far gone, but we'll see. And you know that I was trying to save this regular cabbage, minus, I don't care about these outer leaves, but I wanted to see what the head do because I've never grown a cabbage, just to see. And it's really neat to look at. So I'm gonna spray it as well. Um, I harvested Barack, y'all. <laughs> I harvested my little Barack Obama, I sure did. I clipped him right on off, and I don't know if I clipped it right or not, don't care. Um, and I was just leaving it up to see, um, cause I saw someone say they could grow side shoots or something like that, but I doubt if it will. Um, I just don't feel like bothering with it. This is another broccoli. These are all broccolis here. And then I moved all of my elephant ears and my uh, banana plant 
I brought them up so that I'm at an angle so when I come out here and I get tired and I sit down I can sit down here I don't know I'll just spray these chairs I'll get up with a wet booty hopefully not and I can sit here and just be like okay look at all this stuff I got to take what am I not taking what's not doing great because whatever's not doing great I'm not taking I will dump it and take the container the buckets but I will not take the plant and that will be less on my husband and my son and myself and so I just brought them from back by the fence and I lined them up here and I like them where they are right here um, and it they're really growing they are really growing actually kind of cool not cool but it's a breeze lately it's been hot the wind hasn't been blowing excuse me the wind hasn't been blowing and look at my plant this was my mom's elephant ear y'all y'all know that thing was she had no hair she was down here down to the stub okay and for her to be popping like like she is right now and these right here are supposed to get like five feet big. I don't know if that's in height or just the width or what, but they're supposed to be five feet. And they are constantly putting out new leaves. I just added soil to it. Um, all of them, I just added soil to it. So that's it for the garden update and the move update. And, um, Y'all take care, have a blessed day. I'm about to go out and try to find me some 511 and probably go fishing on Sunday. So when you're seeing this, I recorded this on Saturday. Um, have a blessed one. I love you, but God loves you more. Remember, if you sow something, you can grow something. Smooches.